Hey everybody, God bless you today. I wanna to share something that the Lord put on my heart for you. In this season, remarkable things are happening. It's a season of dramatic change. In the middle of all these natural things changing, almost every system and structure is changing all over the world, God wants us to know He is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Isaiah 43 says it like this, Remember not the things of old, neither the consider the things of the past. Behold, the Lord says, I will do a new thing. Now you will see it. What will we see? I want to make a road in the wilderness. I'm going to make rivers in the desert. The Lord said, I'm going to do something you've not seen before. I'm going to take unused land, unused parts of your life, your mind, your thoughts, your spirit, your potential, and I'm going to build a thoroughfare there. And I'm going to take dry places, and I'm going to make them oasis of heaven, my kingdom of hope, of life. In this season, God is doing something new, and we want to make sure that we are looking at Him and not looking at the past. Remember Lot's wife, the Lord said to Lot and his wife, whatever you do, as I bring you out of this chaotic season, don't look back. Well, she turned around and she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. The imagery of, of, of that is there's no life in your past. There's no sustaining grace. There's no strength. There's no nourishment for your soul. So we have to look ahead and God is always thinking ahead. God is perfect knowledge of your future and he knows the path that's just right for you. He knows the things he's prepared for you in this new season. The moment we came to Christ, the Bible describes that as new birth. It is a beautiful picture of our spirit coming alive in Christ, being born again. And 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says this, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation a brand new species of life. Old things passed away and all things are made new and all things are from God. So I have a new nature. You have a new nature in Christ. That new nature is filled with new life constantly. God's mercies, Lamentations 3 says, your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So God knows how to make things new and we're in a new season, a new beginning season. We're in a season of new life, a new opportunity and new consequences. And God wants to, uh, us to align our hearts, our emotions and our mind, our thinking, our expectation in the same way he's moving. So God has a plan for your life in this season. God has a new thing he's going to do. And make sure that you don't fall into the trap of reflecting to the point of remote of remorse, regret, and even depression or discouragement on the past. Well, things used to be like that. Things are gonna be different in this season, but they're going to be, be better. Different, but they're going to be better. And so for that to happen, we have to make the move with the Holy Spirit and allow that newness of life, that expectation born in the sight of us. Hey, God's doing something new. I can't wait to see how it's all going to play out. And so we allow new thoughts. We allow a new hope, a new faith, a new vision for our future. All those things the Holy Spirit is so ready and willing and able to deposit into our lives. And they're really important because God wants us to attach our lives to the newness of this season and what he can do in your life. No matter what you've lost, no matter what has in your past can't be repeated, God says, it's okay, I'm gonna do a new thing. So this promise in Isaiah was spoken to people that were broken by all kinds of dysfunction for, for a couple of generations of slavery and imprisonment and oppression. And the Lord said, whatever you do, don't look back because I want you to look forward because I have something much better for you. And the better thing I have for you, I'm gonna to begin to show you. My Holy Spirit's gonna reveal it to you. I'm gonna to begin to unveil my purpose and my plan. I just want to declare over you, it's a new season in your life and God's going to do a new thing. And this new thing is going to be better than all things. And there are all kinds of ways God can move. God's not necessarily going to make our path repeat the same kind of uh, routine or habit that we've been used to. He's making new paths, paths in the wilderness, a road in the wilderness. He's making new kinds of nourishment or provision sources rivers in the desert. So there are parts of your story that you've not seen. In fact, there are things you've never seen God do he's gonna do in this season for your life. There are things you've never accomplished you're going to accomplish. There are things that you've never walked into you're gonna walk into. So it's a new season, you're going in a new direction. The Holy Spirit's leading and guiding us and, and the church, God's people need, need to be on the cutting edge of what this season could offer 
as it relates to opportunity, hope, encouragement, faith, and even example, that we set the example. Hey, things are different, but it's okay. They're gonna be better. The kingdom of God always has solutions. God's the best problem solver. The Holy Spirit's the best problem solver on the planet. And he's gonna help you in this situation with newness of life, newness of opportunity, newness of strength, newness of hope, newness of vision, a new vision, a clear vision, a kingdom vision, a Holy Spirit-led vision that's gonna show you things God's going to do. I pray in Jesus' name for your heart and your eyes, your spiritual eyes to be opened in this season to what God can do. He's gonna make all things new. Revelation, Christ is speaking in Revelation 21, he says, I make all things new. There's nothing in your world he can't make new. You're in a new season, my friend. It's gonna be a great season. You're in a new path, it's gonna be a great path. You're in a new kind of opportunity and, and make sure you see it as an opportunity and not an obstacle because the Lord's gonna do amazing things for you in this season of grace, in this season of revelation, in this season of opportunity, in this season of great hope. God bless you and welcome to your new season.